Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Scientists have conducted experiments on animals, whether it be to find cures or to biologically change the animal's genetics. While most of the time the experiments don't work, sometimes the scientist strikes luck and they end up creating an animal. Here are some of the most mysterious animals created by science. Number 7. Sterile Pink Bullworm Cotton crops in the United States are notorious for getting overrun with pests. There are constantly debates over pesticides, and for good reason. People should be concerned with what types of chemicals they're unknowingly putting in their body. But one of the non-poison methods to combat a pest, called the pink ballworm, is definitely an interesting one. Scientists were able to create a version of the worm that is sterile, which means it can't reproduce with other worms. They then release the new sterile worms into the crops. The reason behind this is that the sterile worms will compete against the wild bullworms to make cutting the numbers of the newly born down significantly. The modified worms are sterilized by radiation and marked with a fluorescent indicator so that they can be easily tracked. The scary part is that these scientists believe it's all right to sterilize living things that aren't cooperating. That sets up a troubling precedent for the future. What happens in the future when they decide another animal isn't lining up with their profits? Number 6. Fast-Growing Salmon Imagine this scenario. You're out on the boat with a fishing pole in the water. You feel a bite on the line and you reel it in with all your might, only to discover a salmon three times bigger than the average one. Would you think you were the luckiest fisherman alive or that there was foul play involved? Well, if you were in Waltham, Massachusetts, it was probably a designer fish. What do we mean by that? Well, there's a company called Aqua Bounty that developed a salmon breed they call Aqua Advantage. But this is obviously no ordinary salmon. It's designed to grow at twice the normal rate. They decided to start to breed this massive fish to improve inland fish farming. They also thought it would cut back on the need for ocean pins. These fish are also sterile, so that means that salmon this size aren't going to start popping up all over North America. Number 5. Tumor Fish There's a growing trend of selectively breeding animals to emphasize certain aesthetic features or even abnormalities, sometimes at the risk of the creature's health. For example, recent years have seen the increasing popularity of tumor fish, an umbrella term for sea creatures bred to have large growths on their head. One such fish is the flower horn cichlid, who naturally have humps on their foreheads. Largely because they are considered lucky in some branches of Chinese culture, breeders often try to encourage these lumps to grow bigger and bigger, sometimes to the extent that they obscure the fish's vision, making it harder for them to escape predators. Number 4. Popeye Pigs Should we create a hybrid plant and animal? The obvious answer should be no way, or why would you do that? But the scientists behind the Popeye pig didn't see it that way. You see, this is the first attempt in the world to genetically engineer a mammal to contain plant DNA. The strange reason behind this is simple. They claimed that the pork produced in this pig is much healthier than a normal pig. A rational person's thought might go to an easier solution. For example, maybe eat less pork, or win yourself pork at dinner, or maybe eat vegetables on the side. These Japanese scientists apparently couldn't be bothered with such thoughts and combined spinach genes with the proteins and the pig's flesh. It's hard to justify playing mad scientists just because you can. A character from a very famous movie once said, Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. The name of that movie? Jurassic Park. I hope you're happy with yourselves, Japanese scientists. Now we're only a few steps away from a dinosaur attack. Number 3. Mutant Fish Fishermen on a Caribbean island have spotted what they believe to be a mutant fish, which they are calling alien fish. The animal has two feet, complete with toes. They don't have fins, and they have a perfect human nose. It even has wings. Because the fish does not have fins, it uses its feet to walk across the seabed. Some people believe it's a hoax, but the fisherman who caught it claims it's real, and they don't know what it is. Scientists believe it's a frogfish, which can eat almost anything that can fit into their mouths. Number 2. Spider Goat 
Randy Lewis, a professor of genetics at Utah State University, is the mastermind behind this remarkable scientific endeavor. Lewis had been investigating spider silk. It's five times stronger than steel and could be repurposed for various uses from armor to medical bandages. The problem with spiders, though, is that A, they're very small and do not produce great quantities of silk, and B, they're too cannibalistic to be farmed. The professor, therefore, found an obvious solution to these problems. Implant spider DNA into goats. He took the silk encoding gene from an orb weaver spider and placed it among the DNA that prompts milk production in goats' udders. This DNA was then inserted into an egg and implanted into a mother goat. 150 days later, boom, baby spider goat. When the spider goat lactates, the resultant milk is rich in spider silk protein, which can be filtered out and spooled onto a reel. Number 1. Liger Ligers are deliberately bred in captivity and are known to grow large very fast. They are, however, prone to a malady of diseases and complications, included of which is obesity. Ligers are considered as the biggest cats in the world, with the largest, Hercules, weighing in at over 410 kilograms, or 904 pounds. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.